30 seconds to air. Hi, I'm Donnie. Would you like to... Nope, got it. This one is chomping at the bell. Okay, guys, let's get ready. 10 seconds. Have fun, you... Uh, somebody check the doorbell. Six. Five. Four, we'll fade to black. Three. Vader is still Luke's father. I am Cookie Masterson, and this game may contain mild violence and full frontal donkey nudity. Listen, don't worry, I find that most people enjoy playing alone. And today's wrong answer of the game is being brought to you by... Supreme Court Children's Vitamins. There may not be a lot of vitamins in hamburger, but there are plenty of vitamins in Warren Burger. All right, let's make history. First up, astronomy. How many Earths could you stuff into the volume of Uranus before it just couldn't take anymore? Six, sixty... You could fit a little over 63 Earths into the massive volume of Uranus. 64 if you really relax. Coming up... Five, five dollar, five dollar artwork. Suppose Jackson Pollock had become a sandwich artist at Subway. What would his supervisor have noted about his performance? Wastes time by precise... Pollock was a pioneer of the drip method, a style where forceful, rapid, and impulsive strokes of sauce, I mean paint, were directly applied onto the canvas. And in the time it took to complete this question, five new subways just opened up in your town. Enjoy! Take a stab at... Who's the dummy? So, I've been practicing ventriloquism lately, and I'm getting pretty good. I just have a little trouble with my B's, P's, and M's. Anyway, I'd like to introduce my partner, Billy O'Brien. Say hello, Billy O'Brien. Hello, Dilly O'Brien. One's made of skin, one's made of wood, so... Who's the dummy? Not me! Billy, it's good to see you. I wish I could say the same thing, Dunny. Oh, just, just get on with the question. Calm down, Mr. Nan. So I've been planning a trip to get away from this, Dunny, that for some un unresolved legal trodlins, I can't have a task tort. Which of these tradical destinations is a U.S. territory and therefore wouldn't require a task tort to travel to? The Dahanas? Guan is United States Territory. You know, Billy, wherever you go, I have to go, too. You think I don't know that? You know how embarrassing it is for me when I'm on a date and I need you to unzip my pants? Here's one for you. I'll dance, but I'm not wearing a hard hat. Which of these characters is not dressed to resemble a member of the village people? Woody from Toy... Construction worker, cop, and cowboy are all village people. Pirate is not. I always wondered what village those people came from. Wherever it was, it seemed very fun and career-oriented. Where's the bomb girl? Rock my world girl. Ooh, yeah. Here we have Pop Rock. And it's a diss or dat. I'm gonna read off seven names for each one. Tell me if it's the name of a pope or the name of a Britney Spears song. If it's a pope, press the square button. If it's from Britney, press your circle button. Each one right gets you 300 delicious communion wafers. Each one wrong costs you 300 strands of hair. And God says you must finish this thing in 30 seconds or less. Or he will send Kevin Federline to your house. All right, let's get started. Innocent. Lucky. Urban. Outrageous. Hilarious. Toxic. Lonely. May the Lord and Britney Spears in a Catholic schoolgirl costume be with you. Another thing the Pope and Brittany have in common? Neither of them wear panties. 
That's the end of a thrilling first round. And you should be very proud of that score, because I'm not. Don't forget, all the questions around two are worth double. And don't forget, the wrong answer of the game is still there for the taking. Okay, we're bringing it on. I call this one, I pezzed my pants. Suppose Pez comes out with a Perez Hilton dispenser. If your Perez Hilton Pez is packed completely full of Pez, just like Perez is chock full of juicy celebrity gossip, how many Pez could you suck from Perez's neck? Eight Pez per Perez Pez? Ten Pez? A standard Pez dispenser, whether shaped like Perez or not, holds 12 pieces of candy. And they say eating too much candy is bad for your health, but I have to say it's probably better for you than reading his blog. Next up, hole in more than one. Since Tiger Woods got married in 2004, in which year was Tiger Woods' wood anniversary? 2005. The five-year anniversary is the wood anniversary, and 2009 was the year of Woods, uh, you know, hard times. Yeah, I'm guessing he wishes there was a little less wood that year. Lord and chicken picking out a mate. Guess I'll marry eight. Say hello to foodies in a half shell. Given the dietary habits of tortoises, what would the Teenage Mutant Ninja tortoises most likely order at Pizza Hut? A Super Supreme Pizza? Want to see the answer? Unlike turtles, most tortoises are herbivores, meaning they only eat plants. So the Teenage Mutant Ninja tortoises would probably order the Veggie Lovers Pizza. Also, and I've done some research on this, very few tortoises are actually ninjas. This pizza has the wrong answer baked right into the crust. But your supreme mistake has brought you a supreme reward because you've just won... Supreme Court Children's Vitamins. Nothing keeps children happy and healthy like John Roberts, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, and Samuel Alito. Yay! I'm a Clarence Thomas! Today's wrong answer of the game gets you another 8,000 on top of your current score. Sweet. Coming up. Don't come in here, I'm feld sparring. What do a Victoria's Secret model and the mineral feldspar have in common? Both are... The cleavage of a mineral refers to the way it can be split along a parallel surface. And feldspars is perfect in one direction. So that's what a Victoria's Secret model and feldspar have in common. And also both rarely speak English. Hold me, never let me go. Here's one for you. Harold and Kumar go to the Middle Ages. If it were like the castles of yore, how could White Castle defend itself from the marauding Harold and Kumar? Paint the restaurant black? Build the restaurant? One incredibly horrific means of defending a castle was to pour hot oil on attackers from up above. It was also how medieval chefs got the idea to deep fry meat. There it is! To celebrate your awesome score, I will now say something to you I've never said to anyone else in my life. Are you ready? All right, here it is. My name is Janet Slutskowski, and I'm a penguin trainer. There you go. You know